a common conception is that upstream you know, starts with a geeky geoscientist that grinds away at the workstation in search of the perfect location to strike the drill bit. You know, but in reality, it's a complex interplay of geologists, geophysicists, landmen, reservoir engineers, production engineers, and he may, he may as well add psychic to the list <laughs> since the, the time from drafting table to breaking ground is measured in years. And if your commodity crashes during that time period, the party is over. So you can think about this three-way interplay you know, between the scientists, landman, engineers, and maybe put it in musical terms. You know, you start with a song like Row, Row, Row Your Boat. Remember that? Row, Row. And you hope you end up with a beautiful symphony. You know, in, in other words, the geoscientists, they've got to be able to demonstrate source, migration, proper horse, host rock, and a trap, you know, which is directly implies seal. The landmen are out there back and forth, finding if, is the land leasable? Is it at realistic terms? And, and finally, the engineers, they need to be able to lift it and produce it at a commodity price that will eventually turn a profit. So there's this constant interchange back and forth between those disciplines moving the ball forward. You know, with, and, you know, with all that being said, it still doesn't matter your skill set or how good you are, since anyone in this business can become a hero or a goat in the end. It's tough. And then that's partly because the exploration team is grinding through, you know, masses of amounts of data at a torrid pace, trying to stay ahead of the competition. And the competition comes in all forms, you know, which you need, you always need eyes in the back of your head. So, uh, with all this, invariably, you end up spudding a well, oftentimes with only 60 to 80 percent of the pieces of the puzzle, which leads to probably a, a last thing that probably needs to be mentioned is luck. <laughs> you, you, you do have to pack your lucky rabbit's foot. Uh, I, I know that this might sound cliche-ish, but I've known many, many, many successes. And all of them would admit that luck does play into a factor in this high stakes upstream game.